Why is it that since we were born, we came up to hear that we are the youths of tomorrow, we are the futures of tomorrow? I'm Nina Meyerhoff, I'm founder of Children of the Earth. We are interested in training and offering services to youth who are ready to take their position in this world to make a difference. Our model is called spiritual activism, and it's for world leadership, it is what we call spiritual. Spiritual means that it's inspired, it has inner wisdom, the wisdom of knowing who you are, what your purpose is, what you are to do in this destiny of this lifetime, and we help facilitate that process, and we support you in those actions. Our work at COE is to create those spaces for youth to activate that wisdom that they have within them. For the past 10 years, COE have encouraged me and given me a platform to find the meaning of life and the meaning of how to build projects and I'm learning how to empower myself to be able to go out there to empower other young people. It gives them joy to really have a focus in life. It has really given their life a meaning. It unites all kinds of individuals from all kinds of places and backgrounds to such an extent that we feel the common humanity amongst us. For me personally, it gave me a lot of hope for the future to see that I'm not alone in having altruistic intentions. How I've seen changes in the world through the work that COE does is people leave with a real sense of duty and a sense of urgency behind their work. So what we want to do now is delve deep into this idea of principles of facilitation. So our work is to send facilitators who go out into the world and create sparks of inspiration and passion. This platform would give them ideas and inspire them to do greater work, maybe even just trigger them to think differently by being in a group process and um, having the aim of finding pathways of creating a better world around them. With this training going forward, I plan to incorporate some of the process models into the work that I do in Israel, um, using sport education as a, as a vehicle to facilitate uh, leadership skills and civic engagement and also notions of uh, social responsibility within the eclectic youth populations of the country. We see fantastic projects like building schools across Nepal or going and working with children and women up in the hills of Pakistan or giving free hugs out in Switzerland. But the point is not that we do humanitarian projects, the point is that we are the will to good. Positive changes have also happened on a concrete level through the projects that have sprouted around the world and without COEs inspiring flame it wouldn't have occurred in the first place or without its support it wouldn't have got so magnificent. I believe at this time in our world we face so many collective challenges as a world population that we need to be able to learn how to collaborate, we need to be able to learn how to take uh, personal responsibility for the way that we're collectively going to be uh, existing within, within the world. The urgency that we have now is we need a new system or a new way of thinking and a new way of being together that reflects our current understanding of how the world works and what our place is in. Children of Earth, in bringing people together from around the world who share a common vision for humanity, it instills and impresses the idea that we are one human family. We believe that um, there's a potential blueprint for humanity and that within each youth is a piece of that puzzle. We've seen the amazing results of our work, but we need to bring forward people that understand the inner mission of children of the earth. Our work is on the forefront. It is pioneering work. It is the work of the future, and we want to invite you to be part of that future with us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>